Who can rule out Fulham after their magnificent performance at Everton yesterday? And watching it with us, Viv Busby, the hero of Fulham, seeing those goals for the first time on TV. I think you're going to enjoy this, Viv. The pictures come from Granada Television commentators Jerry Sinstad, and Fulham are in the stripes with the black shorts. Lacey. Busby. Conway. Barrett wide on the left. Taking on Bernard. And getting over the cross for Conway. Just smuggled in. Yes, it's gone in. Busby got the final touch. And that's a shaker for Everton. Busby delighted, although that ball may have been over the line before he got a touch to it. Kenyon was sliding with it by the post. Barrett puts it across. Conway gets a touch. It went under the goalkeeper. And who put the final ball in is difficult to say. It may have been an own goal by Kenyon. It may have been touched in by Busby. Conway losing it. Very crowded midfield there. And Kenyon, a little bit of a wild swing, but no foul. Kenyon, uh, Clements. Lyons. Ratchford willingly chasing. And did well, just took it too far away from Miller. Miller now back on his line as Dobson sets himself. Pearson, well saved. Fine save. And the whistle has gone, I think, for the challenge on the goalkeeper. If Pearson's shot had gone in, it would have counted. I don't think he was offside. Miller took a knock in the back. Tucked away there. Mella comes out for it. Latchford just beats him to it with his toe. Mella now scampering back as Latchford crosses. There's Dobson's shot, and there's Pearson. Impossible to say from that whether he was on or offside. Well done, Conway. Barrett on for Busby. Haven't seen much of Viv Busby yet. Now he takes on Bernard. And a good cross. Well met by Barrett. But Sargent was right with him, and Mr. Thomas decides that it was Sargent's boot that the ball hit last, and so it's a Fulham corner. Hi, Davis, issuing instructions, making sure that he's got a clear sight of the ball. The tall Lacey on the line in front of him. Slough couldn't turn, and that's played on. Has the whistle gone? Yes, it must have gone, but what for, I don't know. That was surely played back by an Everton player, and Conway is going to be booked for his protest to Mr Thomas. Mullery furious with Conway, a needless booking. There's the corner again. I think there's no doubt that this ball will be turned back in by an Everton player. There it is, and he certainly wasn't offside. Jones cross blocked by Lacey, and that's a corner for Everton. Just listen to the Goodison Park crowd getting behind their side now. Corner curled, and a header by Kenyon! Roger Kenyon gets his first goal for 15 months to put Everton level. Mella trying to get a sight of it. Beautifully curled corner and a good jump by the centre half. And the ball nestling in the corner out of the reach of Mella. Kenyon. Pulling defenders out. But Fulham don't need defenders, it's attackers now as Barrett goes away and shoots past Davison, past the post. Everton caught dithering with the ball on the halfway line and then lost possession and Barrett did the right thing. Now Dowie. 
gives it away. Bernard. Dobson. Bernard out on the right. Took up a good position, but has to chase the pass. Gets it back across. Mello watching it. And didn't get his hands to it. Lyons! No, disallowed. Referee is blown up. But Everton thought they'd got it then. But presumably disallowed for the original challenge on Miller as he went up for the catch. We'll see the incident again. Out it goes to Bernard. Bernard's cross. Now watch his Miller impeded there. Well, didn't look like it. But maybe there was another infringement. So we've had a goal disallowed by each side now. And here's Conway breaking for Fulham. Keeps it in. Now can Busby turn and shoot? Yes! Can he just? So, from elation for Everton, total dismay as a goal is disallowed and then Conway breaks, pulls the ball back, Busby turns and hits it off the hands of the goalkeeper into the net. 2-1, seven minutes to go. And what a time to score a goal. Bobby Moore telling Busby the way the game is now going to be played. <laughs> well, right, Congratulations. Well, Thanks very much, Wayne. What was Bobby Moore <laughs> saying to you there? Well, you know, he, he brought me down to earth again, actually, Brian, you know, because I was overjoyed at scoring the goals, and he was saying, come on, get down there, let's play, you know, let's keep in the game, let's keep the game going, and let's sew it up, like, you know, let's not forget that we're still playing, let's go. I think he also had a word with Peter Miller, didn't he? I believe so, afterwards they were saying that Peter came out, you know, and he was overjoyed on his knees, and Bobby said, get back in that goal, you know, and, you know, so the story goes that Peter yeah. just, you know, brought him right back down to earth again. We were really playing. Yeah. In fact, the likes of Bobby Moore and Alan Muller in your side must be a great stabilising effect in matches like that. Uh, tremendous, Brian. Yeah, you know, um, the experience of the both of them uh, comes out all through the team for the lads. You know, Bobby plays tremendous, Alan's tremendous, gets everybody going, G's everybody up. Tremendous to have in the side. Now, your two goals. The first one, Jerry Sinster, I think quite understandably, had a certain amount of doubt in his mind as to who finally pushed it over yeah, the line or yeah. whose it was. I think when we look at it, it is quite clearly yours. Tell us about it, Viv. Some well, good running here by Les. Yeah, Les, Les does well there. You know, he gets a cross over. Uh, Jimmy gets a touch, I think, and the goalkeeper's already committed himself. And as you see, the ball goes past him, and I think Kenyon lays on it. Uh, I think it's Kenyon, and as well, he loses it. I think he handballed it, he's got his hands over it, but he loses it. I'm just going in to pick up the pieces and uh, there you It's can not see over the that. line, it's your goal, isn't it? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've claimed it, Brian, anyway. <laughs> and it's there, you know, uh, nothing easier to tap it in from there, really. Yes, that was just the breakthrough you wanted. That you, was great. you are a scorer of spectacular goals, you're renowned for that. Well, I suppose the second one was probably as good as you've scored for a long time, wasn't it? I uh, really enjoyed the second one, Brian, yeah. Um, Jimmy done very well, Jimmy Conway done very well. Uh, took the ball to the line and I was surprised, you can see there. Here he goes now. Yeah. Tremendous run for You were Jimmy. surprised with what? I was surprised that when Jimmy clips the ball across, I'm surprised at the room I've got because I've got to come out to pick the ball up. And if you notice, you know, I've got plenty of room, plenty of time. Yes. You see there, as I pick the ball up now, you know, I've got, what, four yards before, five yards before anybody's near me. Gives me time to touch it on and just turn and hit it. Now, do you see a gap like that or was it no, a question no, of just no. hitting? There, Brian, it's just a question for me to turn and hit it, you know. And uh, it went in, so tremendous, yeah. Did you go there really feeling that, that Fulham could win that one? I think all the lads were very confident, Brian, very confident indeed. You know, um, we'd had a bit of a marathon with Forrest. Uh, we came out of that well. The prize was the tie at Everton. Mm. Uh, we felt we had a very good chance. Of Even when they got level? Uh, when they got level, uh, quite honestly, I could see a, you know, a replay or you know, uh, another marathon coming off. But... Yeah. Uh, we, we kept going, we kept attacking, you know, uh, we didn't l rely on our laurels and sit back. True. Uh, we kept going at them. And they had one disallowed? They had one disallowed, yeah. I think it was a bit of an infringement on Peter Mellor. Um, 
Yes, we'll have a look at this one now. Uh, I think Everton fans would say that it was a pretty fair jump. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, I'm not asking you to comment on it, obviously. No, I think Bill, but he, does, he does well, the boy getting up You have there. to ask if this is a clear jump by Mick Lyons on the goalkeeper. Yeah. Certainly he's got his arms around the goalkeeper Clearly as they there. came down. But the referee's he's blown his whistle placed. there. Yeah. He's blown his whistle straight away, you know. Uh, Leslie Strong looks very happy at the decision anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's Carlisle. Yes, um... I think we can go there and do very well, Brian. Uh, we've beaten Everton, top of the Division 1. We go to Carlisle. Uh, they'll be playing a bit, but uh, they're down in the bottom relegation part yes. of the First Division, so I think we stand a very good chance of... But of going talking there. about the bottom part and relegation, Fulham are only seven off the bottom of the Second Division. Yeah, in fact, a... I think they're only two points clear of Millwall, who are mm. third from bottom. That is mm. a problem now, Bill. It's a bit worrying, Brian, yes. Uh, you don't know which to take first, the cup or the league, I think. You know, you've got to play each game as it comes, and uh, we do need the points. So, why are you so low in the league? Though? I mean, you, you, you've shown such good form occasionally. Yeah, we've played very well at times. You know, we've beaten three first division sides this year, and on the occasion, I don't think uh, there's a better side than us for football and the way we play. But we seem to let ourselves down when we come across Oldham, York. You know, these sort of games where we should be playing and picking up two points every time, which we don't do. Uh, this is where we're struggling a little bit. Viv, many congratulations on yesterday and thanks, thanks for coming much, and joining us on the big match today. Great Thank pleasure, you. Brian. Thank you. So another great cup weekend is over and we hope very much that you've enjoyed it. Next